You are listening to the Your Empty Nest Coach podcast with Coach Christine, episode number 87. Empty nest success happens when you are the CEO of your life. I work with mothers of high school students and beyond who are in the trenches with sad and possibly overwhelming thoughts about what their life will look like when their baby heads to college and begins to leave the nest. My client's big question is, what will I do with my time? Is this you? I've been there and I get it. Empowering you to write the next jaw-dropping, amazing chapter in your life is my passion. I am energized by leading you in the process of exploration and am thrilled when you unlock the power that lies within you. This podcast is my gift to you. Hello, my empty nest friend and CEO of your life. Are you keeping that herd outside of your fence? I hope so. You will level up tremendously when you are able to trust who you are more than what the world has decided to label you as. Are you wondering what the herd is all about? Check out my last episode, number 86, for that fun analogy. A quick reminder that if you find yourself talking back to me at any part of this episode, or if something resonates with you, please take the opportunity to leave me audio feedback either through SpeakPipe or my Google Voice number. You'll find the information to do this in the description of this episode. On Apple Podcasts, click Details. On Spotify, click See More. On Overcast, press the I for Information button. Get the idea? Of course, I always have full show notes with links to anything I discuss in this episode and a full episode transcription on my website. Those reside at youremptinesscoach.com forward slash P for podcast and 87 for this episode's number. I can't wait to hear from you. Thanks. Thank you. It's time to thank our sponsor. This episode is sponsored by my membership community, the GPS Support Flock, your flight to success in the empty nest. If you are ready to find the GPS of your life, sign up to receive an immediate and free download of my PDF, How to Find Yourself in the Empty Nest, our GPS Life Principles document. You will also have the opportunity to learn about our community. See the link in this episode's show notes or fly on over to my website, youremptinesscoach.com. Click the GPS support flock button. See you soon. To continue with some thank yous, I would like to formally welcome three members into our GPS support flock membership program, Michelle, Beth, and an anonymous friend. I am incredibly excited you joined the flock and look forward to your flight to success. And another thank you for a fab review about my podcast. This review was added on Apple Podcasts by W Very Name Is Taken 8. I'm guessing every name is taken. I love that. And they shared, if you are someone who has become an empty nester or about to become one, this podcast is for you. Christine takes a no-nonsense approach to women analyzing their situation and realizing their potential. She's always positive, encouraging, and supportive. You owe yourself a listen. Wow, thanks so much. I want to challenge you to think bigger in all that you do. You may be looking for empty nest success to get you through the journey ahead, but what if you found life success? The ability to be peaceful throughout your days, at home, with friends, with family, at work or a volunteer gig. No, it doesn't mean you're always happy, but it means you've become so adept at identifying happenings outside of your fence that your protector is well-trained. You quickly sort out your thought deliveries, your sensations that come from them, and make a conscious choice on those that you allow to impact your life. Your journey into the empty nest is an opportunity to have success in all areas of your life. What if you begin the journey knowing that the success you have on this journey is one that will be applied to all areas of your life? What if? If you are somewhere where you may grab a piece of paper, and we're going to use both sides, and a writing utensil, preferably a writing utensil that you love, or maybe you're at a computer where you can open a new document, I invite you now to pause this episode and to collect those items. 
as I have an activity for you today. If you aren't able to pause this episode now, know that I'm going to have a time marker in the show notes for you to come back to this at this point when you have five minutes. Please note that you can do a similar exercise for any area of your life. Keep this in mind as you listen or participate. It is a tool in your toolkit, and more on that in next week's episode. Here we go. On one side of the paper, I want you to write empty nest at the top. I then want you to write at least three thoughts that you have about those two words on the page. You can number them, put them in circles, put emojis around them. This activity is for you, so do what feels fun even if the words on the page don't feel fun. If you have 25 thoughts, put them all down. Then near each thought that you have, write the sensation or feeling slash emotion that you have with that thought. What you'll notice is there are different sensations around the empty nest for you, depending on the thought that you have. And with life, isn't it true that depending on the day or moment, we can feel differently about things? Isn't that interesting? Okay, now back to your page. Now turn the page over, and on this new blank side of the page, I would like you to write at the very top three words. Empty, nest, success. Next, I would like you to write one letter from each of the words you wrote at the top, empty nest success on a line or the equivalent of a line if you have unlined paper. Do it as if you are numbering a list with each letter. Left-hand side is best. It will look like an E on a line, then jump down and write M, jump down again and write P. Does this make sense? Do it for all three words, empty nest success. You have all three words now? Empty nest success at the top and written out letter by letter, line by line vertically. Next, draw a line vertically. For some of you, that is from the top to the bottom, down the middle of the paper, under your title, empty nest success. As I say the word for each letter, I'd like you to write the word that I say, and then to the right of the vertical line, write a sensation or thought that comes to mind. If you need to pause this throughout, do it. Guess what? I'll be here right where you left off when you unpause it. Ready? E, empowered. M, momentum. P, pouring. T through Y your. So you should have on five separate lines empowered momentum pouring through your. Now stop here for a moment. Look at what you have written so far. How does it feel? Do you have a favorite word or sensation? Do you have one that excites you? Put a star by it if you do. Great, let's move on to the next word. N for new, E for existence by, write both words. S for showering, and T for the. So you have new existence by showering the. You are two words in now, and how are you feeling? Do you want to turn the page over and add things, cross things out on the other side? Do you find yourself arguing with me in your head, or maybe even out loud? Notice these moments. And let's wrap it up with success. S is for self. U is unconditionally with. C is caring. The other C is consciousness. E is exponentially. S for shaping your, both words there and S for success. Phew, that's a lot of words. They are words that I find create power for me. How do they feel for you? Let's read them together. Empowered momentum pouring through your new existence by showering the self unconditionally with caring consciousness exponentially shaping your success. Other than it being a long sentence, how does it make you feel? What sensations do you have? What doubts do you have? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you want to change it? 
You can. You can change it to anything you like. My challenge to you is to be curious about why you want to change it. Is it because you don't believe it? Or is it because you have better words for you that bring you to a better sensation and action in your life? As a regular listener of my podcast, you know that your thoughts, the words that you choose to stay in your life, have power, whether you say them out loud or silently mull them over in your head. Being conscious of the thoughts you have, the thoughts you want, and the thoughts that you resist allows you to level up your life, to become the conscious, effective Olympian of your life. After all, empty nest success happens as you journey toward becoming the CEO of your life. Future you is already there. She's waiting for you, and she's cheering you on. The questions I have for you in this episode are, one, is your empty nest success side of the paper anything like your empty nest side of the paper? And two, which side of the paper would you prefer to live in moving forward? Fly on over to our Facebook group to share your answers to these questions with our amazing flock. Our Facebook group name is Green Popsicle Sticks. Want to know why? Listen to episode number 17. Or head to my website, youremptinesscoach.com forward slash community for links to join our flock. We look forward to seeing you there. Thanks. Thank you. A huge shout out to every member of my GPS support flock. I invite you to fly on over to my website or see my show notes for a link to learn how you may become a GPS support flock member, where you will gain access to all of my programs, monthly workshops, group coaching, and more. See you there. If you follow me on the socials, you probably already know all of this, but I realized that I haven't been mentioning these on my podcast, so I'm changing that as of now. Welcome to my new segment, Where is Christine? 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 Christine, where are you? I was lucky enough to chat with Karen and Harriet of Coffee and a Chit Chat. And they captured our conversation on video as well as on their podcast. Our conversation ran over two of their episodes, full on empty nest chatting in those episodes. And of course, I'll have a link in my show notes if you want to pop over there now and take a listen. We discuss my PSPF strategy for the transition, coming to terms with your emotions, and so much more. Well, my empty nest CEO of your life friend, if you enjoyed this episode, I invite you to take a moment to subscribe to this podcast. It is free after all. As always, I provide content to make you think. My hope is that I am able to provide you with thoughts that positively impact your life. And as always, please remember that you are amazing. See ya. No, it doesn't mean you're always happy, but it means you've become so adept at identifying happening. No, it doesn't mean you're happy, but gosh. <laughs> what if you begin the journey knowing that the sex set? Turn off my, my computer.